Oh, my bad, and especially when you tune into Expresso on a Friday morning. But listen, it's all about the South African Music Awards that are happening this weekend. And I think the man with the biggest amount of pressure on his shoulders right now is getting ready to be interviewed by Graham because he's going to be hosting the big award ceremony. And this is Double HP. He's in the house. Needing absolutely no introduction. Hip hop Pansula Double HP <laughs> is in the house. Grandma. Oh man, I, I think I heard your voice down the stairs Dude. and my, my heart lifted, man. I was just telling this one lady that, you know, I could I would never have a chance like robbing a bank. I'd walk in the villa club like, <laughs> give me all your money. Like, Double HP on my word. Okay, keep your money. Of course, the big news yeah. at the moment, you are going to be hosting the 21st edition yeah, of the South brother. African Music Awards. They haven't had yeah. a host in a couple of years. Yeah, two, I think so. You must be nervous. I know you've done a lot, but this is a step, yeah, man. I'm super nervous, especially like you know after seeing two major summer awards in my like, entire career. I saw the Trevor Noah um, yeah. season. That was just phenomenal. And I mean, Trevor Noah is just a comedian. He knows how to keep the crowd going. But Cabello, seeing Cabello doing his thing over there, I mean, it kind of turned him from that... Ghetto Panzola TKZ guy to this jogging Christian, you know, like. He's just, like <laughs> so are we going to expect the same kind of Dude, change in knows, your lifestyle, man? Who man? knows, man? I might just come in there and just be on like, some Buddhist vibe. Who knows? Now, I don't think any host has made it through without yeah. insulting someone, upsetting yeah. someone. Yeah. 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 Uh, are we going to see that kind of you know, attack from you? The thing about, you know, when you're now put in charge of a live transmission, I mean, you, you're very, like, familiar with it. There's always, like, you know, um, opportunities to kind of, like, you know, take a little jab at someone or just <laughs> shank someone else, whatever. But, I mean, more so, I'm really going to be acknowledging my haters as well, you know, because, you know, it was their doing that I'm where I am. You know, I always say to people that a hater can sometimes be a very important commodity. You know, I would never, like, take jabs at anybody personally because, you know, it is a Sitswana saying that says, um, um, which means don't laugh at the ones who have fallen, you know, um, slippery roads are still ahead. So I'll never kind of take that percent. I'll never take that moment kind of jab anybody. But those who have always had animosity towards me, I'll be like, guys, I'm right here because of you. You rock! <laughs> There's no you better know? way of sticking it to yeah, them. Yeah, dude. Um, and what an incredible award season. We now have yeah, an man. award season yeah, here man. in South Africa. Yeah. And this is pretty much that crescendo yeah. after an incredible couple of months yeah this is validation this is yeah. what the artists want dude and more so i think uh the craziest part about the entire thing is that you know we've all just wanted to kind of like you know cement the summers as quote unquote the grammys of yeah. like you know what's going on but there's been some really amazing um you know award ceremonies that have been held by other guys and this is just a chance for the summer guys to kind of just like step up the, like the game a little bit, you know, and just kind of stand out from everyone else. They need to really be the big kahunas of the music event, you know. And I think what makes this such a standout year is the fact that our music is so strong. Yes, right. and diverse Across as well. Across the board, yes. yeah. I was going to say, now, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to, obviously I know you can't be too biased, yeah, but I'm yeah. going to ask you for an educated yeah. um, impression. When we look at some of the nominees this year, the big yes. ones, I think everyone focusing on album of the year. Yes. What I'm loving is seeing Ringo yeah. back. Who would have Dude, thought? You know, I never, like, you know, one thing I'm, I love about Ringo is that, you know, he's really a seasoned artist. He's yeah. not really there for, like, you know, trends or what's going on. He just gets in there, does what he knows best, and we all love him for that. He's almost like equivalent to our own R. Kelly. Yeah, you know? 100%. Yeah. So now we've got Beatenberg, Casper yes. Neuvest, K.O. Yes. Ringo, and The Soil, yeah. another one yeah. of our favorites. Yeah. Who do you, who, uh, it's almost impossible you know, to. I think the, all these guys are. Uh, unlike other award ceremonies where like you can, there's a clear winner, everybody yeah. knows this guy deserves it, whatever. This is very challenging because all these guys have been respectfully awesome in their contribution to the music industry. Guys like Beatenberg, for instance. I mean, Beatenberg for me took music back to the bubblegum days where yeah. we kind of like, you know, from the days of like, um, I don't even remember the name of uh, PJ Powers' band, but Jaluga, uh, the big dudes in that vibe. They kind of captured that old sound and brought yeah. it back over the side. And I have to commend them for, I mean, for the longest time, I didn't know there were three white guys, you know, I was like, <laughs> Man, I love those three guys. white guys yeah. that sound like Masakani. Yeah, Dude, it's like, and yeah. like for me, like I think they really like you know did an awesome thing. I bought the album. There's a song in there called like a Titan Rope. Yeah. I love it so much. You know, um, groups like The Soil as well. They've kind of like broken convention. Uh, it's always like you know a pop song or song with instruments that's going to make it. But now these guys took a cappella to another level. And I mean, back in my high school days, I used to sing in the barbershop group in an eight-part barbershop group. So I never thought that barbershop or a cappella could get to a level where it's like commercial and it's uh, popularly like. Um, Casper Nyavest is another one who I feel that he's kind of broken that 
that convention of like you know being modern without being western you know yeah. like a lot of guys are trying to like you know replicate what's going on overseas but he's just keeping it strictly here and still like appealing over there aka is another one who personally i really i'm a huge fan of aka there's two artists who when they perform Oh, actually three artists like that when they perform i forget that i'm a rapper myself <laughs> ko aka and pro kid you know these guys i'm a huge fans of theirs i love their music and i mean i really i, I personally would i mean man it's, really <laughs> it hard is, to it's say. impossible yeah, to, it's impossible, it's impossible to, to say, to say man. Yeah. Well, yeah. well we're going to continue chatting summer weekend and yeah. congratulations once again Thank i you know you really are relishing the opportunity i'm yeah, um, love to hear your thoughts you can hit us up on our facebook page let us know who you think is going to take album of the year we've got double hp in the house we're also going to continue our summer chat yeah